Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Jeremy from Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're working on Trophy Achievement Point Counterpoint for Batman Arkham Origins. To get this one, you need to defeat Deathstroke without missing a single counter. This one is a chore. Let me tell you, it's going to take a few practices. If you can get it on your first time, just go ahead in the comments below post. I'm a Batman god and I will like it. There are a few attacks you need to be aware of. One, anytime he hops back, you get ready for a beatdown. It happens when you get him about a third of his health and about two thirds of his health down and then right towards the end of it. Uh, sometimes it's going to slow down as you punch him and sometimes he's just going to hop back, say something, and it's going to go into the uh, you spamming triangle and then doing the beatdown, which is going to take you to the next stage of the fight. So there's going to be three stages of the fight and they're going to be broken each up by a beatdown. There is just the normal counters that you're going to be hitting, and then after you hit a counter, you're going to want to punch him about three times, and then just wait for the next attack. If during those punches it goes into a miniature little quick time thing, uh, get ready to hit triangle at the right time. Obviously, do not hit it early, or he's going to hit you, and you're going to have to start this thing all over. Speaking of starting things all over, at any go point in time, you can just go ahead and hit restart if for some reason he gets a hit on you, so no worries. Um, another thing is, is uh, as you go past the second stages, there's going to be more counters, and I'll talk about that as the video plays. And then when he does the thing where he shoots the cable into your chest, just start spamming triangle right away until you actually have the uh, barrel in your hand and then throw it. And then I'm going to go over another way to get easy hits on him. So here we go. All right, we're mano a mano here. So pretty much just wait for him to attack you. And then as soon as he attacks you, counter, get about three punches in, no more than that and then keep fighting. And you saw right there, that was the quick time little scene I was talking about earlier. Anytime you throw him over your shoulder or he springs off you, real quick try to get a back claw in there and then do the uh, quick attack right afterwards. It's the best way to damage him and uh, you get a damage multiplier because you're using your back claw. If he starts evading it before you do it, uh, the next time he does it, just get a punch in or do another counter, then he will usually let yourself start setting it up again. But as you can see, it's doing pretty good damage. After you get about two, three bars down, you're going to go into your first uh, beatdown session, which is going to take you into the second phase of the fight. So here's another throw, here's a back claw, and as you can see, he's starting to evade him. He doesn't evade that one because I don't send the back claw. So if he evades one, just skip one and then do it. Here's the slow motion punch I was telling you about. He's going to jump back, throw down a smoke bomb, and he's coming in from the top. So start sp uh, spamming the evade button. And then right after this, you're going to start spamming the attack button because it's beatdown time. And this is going to take us to the second phase of the fight. Right after the beatdown, be ready for a counter. All right, booyah. And what? We're fighting Solid Snake? Crazy, son. <laughs> Sorry, Batman people. But uh, like I said, there's the uh, initial attack. Now that we're in the second phase of the fight, anytime you see the uh, quick time event, just be ready to be able to evade twice, whether it's two triangle presses during the quick time fight or it's just one triangle press followed by an initial uh, attack with the little lightning bolts. So right here is one. I'm waiting for the second one. And then right there, bam, he's right after it again. And there's going to be two in a row sometimes. So here's one. And then it'll show another one while he's in the air or doing something different, which I'll point it out when it happens. Uh, same thing applies to throwing him behind you or uh, him jumping off you and getting the back claw attack right here to get the bonus damage. I mean, this one's definitely a chore. It's going to take you a few tries, and uh, it's definitely going to, you know, whatever. But you, at least you have the ability to restart, and uh, you'll get it with a little bit of practice. I mean, the biggest thing I can say is be reactive, not proactive. If you expect triangle, and you hit it a little too soon, you're going to ruin the whole little quick time fight, and it's just going to be back to the start. So, like I said, be reactive. Just be, you know, slow as smooth, smooth as fast, that type of thing. Here is the little thing I was talking about. Turns out claws in your chest don't hurt, but start spamming the triangle button, and once you have the gas canister in your hand, go ahead and throw it. Close the distance so the gun goes away, and then go right back to fighting. Here's the quick time thing. Boom. And right there, it comes with the second one. One, and then see, two. So there's different variations, and there's another one where he goes behind you, and you kind of hook him over you. But as you can see, he jumped back, and here we go with another uh, spamming of the evade button followed by a beatdown. And this is going to take us to the third stage of the fight where he has a sword. Just like the last one, be ready to counter as soon as this little beatdown's done. And now all of the quick time events are going to be at least three attacks, or at least be expecting three attacks. You'll see what I'm talking about. Same thing applies to hit throwing him behind you with the uh, back claw attack. 
But uh, get ready for some of these multiple attacks. And here, here's the chest thing again. As soon as you see this happening, just start smashing the evade button and throw it at him. Roll at him or whatever it is to close the distance and get ready to counter. As you can see with the blade, he's a lot faster, so you're going to have to be a little bit more in your game. This is usually where I'd mess it up. So there's one, two, three. So anytime you see the camera pull back, just be expecting some sort of variation of that. So just pretty much evade, get a few hits in, evade, get a few hits in. And if you find yourself uh, getting the triple hit over and over again, just don't attack right after the triple hit. Just let him do a normal attack again, and then it'll get you out of that uh, routine. Boom, get that grab in. And if you can get him down to another beat down, that's, just, that's the end of this fight, so. Like I said, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. It's gonna take a few tries. Any chance you get one of those where he stays stills and let you take that nice little chunk of damage off him, definitely exploit that and take advantage of it. Oh yeah. One, two, and it was only two that time. But like, always be expecting three, but uh, sometimes it's just gonna be two. Almost there, ladies and gentlemen. If we can just get him to throw the smoke one more time, that'll be a wrap, and there it is. Bam, you know, don't forget the triangle here. Don't get too excited. And then after this little triangle session, it's gonna be a little bit of a squares mass session, and you'll be able to go. Uh, for some reason, if you miss this trophy, if it doesn't pop here in a you know, pretty close amount of time as mine does, you can quit while the cutscene's going on. I did that and was able to come back, because I was just curious about how far this fight goes. But bam, there it is. So thank you guys for tuning in to Happy Thumbs Gaming. If you have any questions about the video, uh, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll get back to you. And uh, also, if this video helped you out at all, don't forget to like and uh, pass out the word about Happy Thumbs Gaming. As always, happy hunting, gamers.